My name is Carl Moretti, Vice President for Top Rank Boxing out of Las Vegas. Uh, welcome to Newark and uh, welcome to this special event that we are officially announcing today for July 13th at the Prudential Center. Um, Top Rank obviously has had a long glorified history in professional boxing and the reason we're coming to Newark is the gentleman sitting on my left, Shakur Stevenson. Um, We'll bring him up later to say a few words. This is his town. Every time he gets in the ring, he reps Newark uh, in so many different ways. But before that, I'd like to just introduce some people on a dais to come up and say a few words. Uh, the first gentleman I've known for at least four or five years. Um, you don't do boxing in New Jersey without calling this man. And uh, without his help, we can't do any of these shows. So the uh, Newark native, Hall of Famer, best referee in boxing maybe ever, and a commissioner of the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Mr. Larry Hazard. Thank you, Thank you very much, Carl. Uh, you said that just the way I told you. <laughs> okay. We're very, very happy, Carl, that uh, Bob Arum, another Hall of Famer promoter, has um, so fit to bring our native son back home to display his wares before the hometown crowd. It's going to be exciting. We're very, very proud of uh, Shakur's accomplishments. We watched him from his infant stages, it's coming out of Newark. And now he serves as a great example and inspiration for all of the young men and, and women now who aspire to succeed in the sport of boxing. We have our gyms going around in the city. Uh, Newark has a, a history that goes back for decades, turning out outstanding fighters. <coughs> many have gone on to do very well, but not too many have reached the pinnacle that Shakur has reached, Olympic, competition, he brought home the silver medal. We were so proud of his, his accomplishments in, in that. We watched him from a youngster with his <coughs> grandfather, trained at our gym at one point, combat gym. And he's developed into a world-class fighter. Um, we have no doubt that in a very short period of time, Shakur is going to win a world championship. He's going to come back home with that belt. So we're glad that we're going to have him here before that happens, before his hometown crowd. And so on the 15th of July, 13th, 13th I'm sorry. We, we got it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> 13th of July. I hope everyone comes out and give their support. So we're, we're hoping that um, Shakur, we're hoping that we get positive results on the 13th. And I look to see everyone there. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. Um, obviously, this card will be shown live on ESPN to, I don't know, <laughs> 90 million homes and all the platforms on ESPN Plus as well. So Newark will certainly be in the spotlight. Uh, before we go on the air with the two title fights, uh, we have an undercard of about eight or nine fights. And a lot of those kids are from New Jersey and the New York metropolitan area. And you know that's the way we like to build shows around here. One of the young fighters on the card is 17 years old from Nutley, New Jersey and he's most comfortable in the ring. But when you get these guys going, they have to learn what to do and how to act and what to say out of the ring. So I'm gonna put him on the spotlight now and have him come up and say a few words. 17 years old, wow. I can see a GQ sponsorship coming pretty soon. <laughs> a good friend of support from the amateurs, a terrific amateur who won countless national championships <coughs> and is ready to turn pro, which you see a lot of kids doing today. Please welcome Vito Malinicki. 
Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank Top Rank, Mr. Aaron, Mr. Moretti, for allowing me to get on this card. Uh, I also want to thank Mr. Uh, Commissioner Harrison for licensing me as the youngest youngest fighter in New Jersey. Uh, it's crazy how I me and Square are now on a professional card together. When, like, a few years ago back, we were in our we were in uh, Nevada, Las Las Vegas, at the Junior Golden Gloves, and now we're on the same card. So I just want to say. That's crazy, but uh, um, July 13th, I'm ready. I'm ready to make my pro debut, and it, I'm happy that it's in my hometown where my family and friends could come watch, so I'm just ready to put on a show. You know, <laughs> this gets easy. You'll get used to it. It gets to the point where you can't stop these kids from talking when they get up here and you gotta get the mic back. But, you know, it's all good, no problem. Um, I'd also like to thank David McWhorter and his dad, Vito Malinicki Sr., for reaching out and uh, realizing what this card means to him and to us. And it's a, it's a pleasure to have him and we look forward to working with you in the future as well. Um, the next person I'd like to introduce, Karen Aaron, the president and CEO of the Greater New Newark Convention and Visitors Bureau, and that without your assistance and the, the help of the city of Newark, we wouldn't be here. So let me bring her up to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. Go Newark, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. So listen, my name is Karen Aaron, and I am the president and CEO of the Greater Newark Convention and Visitors Bureau. I want to first start by saying that on behalf of the hospitality and the tourism community um, in Newark, we are so excited about this event. So for those who don't know, sports tourism is a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's, and it's events like these that celebrate our local athletes, that, um, that drive economic impact to the city and ultimately identifies with the mayor's mission of live, work, and play. Um, we've um, been talking about this event for some time now. We recognize that Newark um, is a boxing community and we definitely want to bring something home so all of us can, can enjoy and share. And one of those people in my office that was a prime anchor in hosting this event, um, his name is Ricardo Salazar. So I'd like for Ricardo to come up because this was a very intentional event. This was something that we've been talking about for a long time and something that you're going to see more of. So I'm going to ask Ricardo just to come up and just say a few words on why this was important to bring to Newark, why we want to make sure that we continue to celebrate our athletes in and around the city and including our veterans that are here today. So Ricardo, if you can come up for a few words and just say, you know, how this event came about and what this means to you in the boxing, in the Newark boxing community. Hello, everybody. Um, Karen does this to me all the time. So <laughs> last night she said, you're going to speak. And I, I don't know what I'm going to say, but I have to write it. So I'm going to read, if you don't mind. So long before I joined the GNCBB, I was aware of the benefit of having Shakur perform and build his future legacy here in his hometown of Newark. At the time, I expressed this to a number of people in the city. By then, Shakur was considered the face of USA Boxing, the National and Olympic Organization for Amateur Boxing here in the US. After I joined the GNCBB, it was one of the first things that I told Karen that needed to happen. It was 2017, and Shakur had already captured a silver medal at the Rio Olympics. She agreed, and from that moment on, I engaged top rank in conversations about how and when they were going to bring back our Olympic hero to perform in front of his hometown fans. While we had many conversations since 2017, it wasn't until earlier this year when Top Rank's COO, Brad Jacobs, informed me that if Shakur looked good in his next fight at Madison Square Garden, his next fight would be here in the city of Newark. I don't think I have stopped calling him at least once a week ever since. So here we are. Once he gave me the day, July 13, I immediately offered to have us assist Top Rank and set up their hotel room block, which we were happy to do, as well as helping them to set up today's press conference. But about Shakur, <coughs> casting his immense talents aside, I don't recall a fighter in recent memories showing the love for his city the way Shakur does. He wears it on his head when he wears his headband, <laughs> <laughs> his trunks, right? And his team will have Newark proudly displayed on their corner jackets. We at the GNCBB believe he can elevate the city the same way many fighters in the past have done for theirs. Newark is also proud to call him his favorite son. In the last three Olympic Games, no boxer from the U.S. has been more successful 
than Shakur Stevenson. And we're proud to be working alongside he and his team. We wish him the best of luck in July 13, and we look forward to seeing more of you here in, the, in your beloved city. Thank you. <laughs> so there's something else that uh, occurred while we were preparing for this press conference, and it's a school, and I'll let the Shakur, um, up, you know, do the uh, honors of uh, he's donating uh, some boxing gloves and hand wraps to uh, the school. Huh? Oh, the American History High School. I had it wrong. <laughs> so he would like to do the honors now and, and present them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the school that he went to. Wow. <laughs> He's sounding great. Anyway, so. Um, Okay, I guess he will do it after, you know, once everyone's been finished speaking. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't expect him to donate the stuff to Central High School, which was the rival or one of the other schools. <laughs> <laughs> he went there too, okay. There you go. There you go. Um, obviously, the next person I'd like to bring up, uh, you can't have a fight or a television or anything unless you have a building. And The Rock, as it's known, is one of the best sports buildings on the East Coast, for sure. I'd like to bring up its executive vice president for the Prudential Center, Mr. Sean Sade, to say a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. It's an exciting day today, really. Um, so happy to have Shakur fighting in our building. It's a long time coming. Um, we're super excited, as excited as Shakur is to have him uh, fighting in our building. Um, first, I want to thank uh, uh, Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment, uh, managing partners Josh Harris and David Blitzer, our CEO Scott O'Neill, um, our president uh, Hugh Weber, uh, who have made this opportunity possible from our side. I also want to thank our friends at Top Rank, uh, especially Brad Jacobs and Carl Moretti, Bob Arum. Uh, obviously, uh, we're so excited to, to be partnering with them on this event and uh, making it happen. Uh, special thanks to um, Brian Gale, who uh, is our VP of Programming. He really worked very hard to get this uh, event into our building. Um, we're really excited to have boxing back in Newark and at the Prudential Center. It's our privilege and responsibility to continue to prospect and welcome global events through Prudential Center. We pride ourselves on diversity of programming and being the venue in New Jersey for big, big time sports and entertainment. We, we are proud to be a top 10 arena in the world. We look uh, forward to welcoming boxing fans from around the country through Prudential Center's doors, as well as the eyes of the world via ESPN and ESPN Deportes. Shakur, I'd like to welcome you to your home, the Prudential Center. We are so proud to be hosting your fight and can't wait for a great night to, of toe-to-toe -to -toe boxing on July 13th. We are confident that Shakur Stevenson's <coughs> homecoming will inspire the next gener generation of boxers and fighters in Newark and across New Jersey. We hope one day to welcome them into Prudential Center's locker room. I know Newark and New Jersey box fans will be rabid to see one of their own on July 13th, so come out and be a part of amazing boxing spectacle. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. We look forward to uh, this and many future events as well. Um, the next gentleman I'd like to bring up is the Director of Recreation for the City of Newark, representing the Mayor's Office. The next two guys sitting at the end of the day, I'd love them to come up and say a few words. They're my guys. I mean, you see Shakur here today, but what you don't see is, you know, tonight he's got to get on a flight and go to training camp. And for the next six weeks, you know, he's buried in that training camp. And uh, if you're not a boxer, you can't appreciate what it is, you know, getting up and running six miles a day and sparring and training and, you know, he's got to get ready for it's his biggest fight of his career. There's no question about it. And these two guys, we rely on them every day because we need to check in and make sure everything's going okay. First gentleman I'd like to bring up is really the reason why Shakur is here today. It's his grandfather. And if it wasn't for him, he probably wouldn't be here today. So thank you for everything. Uh, for what you do for the amateur program and all the kids that you train in Newark, what you've done for Shakur. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege to bring you up and do this fight in Newark. This is your fight as much as his. Come on up and say a few words, Mr. Wally Moses. Okay. 
Okay, first I want to say hello and thank you to everybody for coming out. I want to say thank you to Top Rank, Mr. Hazard, who's been with me from the beginning of this journey, being one of his mentors, seeing where we are now. With this fight, you know, it's real meaningful to me because not only having Shakur here, I was going to feature three fighters that I've trained throughout their amateur career. Mr. Vito Manicki, Shakur, and Mr. John Bowser, okay? John Bowser, 2016, Shakur was USA Boxer of the Year. 2017, John Bowser was 20th Boxer of the Year. So it's very meaningful to me, and it gives me an inspiration what we can really do here with our youth in the city of Newark. And everyone here, and you know, especially to my friends from the boxing world, I just want you to know you all have been a part of it, you know? This is really special to me, Shakur, you know, him coming home and wanting to be here for the community is really overwhelming to him. He just couldn't wait to get here. He kept letting top rank know, yo, I want to go home, I want to go home, I want to go home. And there's another thing I want to mention too while I'm here. <laughs> when Shakur said he wanted to give the award to History High, there's one particular reason why. <clears throat> Hello. And, you know, it's one thing that I would not like to ever see to happen to a child again. It happened to be one educator there who told Shakur that he should give up boxing and get more into his education. But he said, he told the teacher that, listen, I'm going to be a boxer and I'm going to be a champion. So with that coming from Shakur, I want to let parents know and all the children know, relate to them that they can accomplish their dream no matter what. And let them know that failure is never an option. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, he goes to the same tailor as Commissioner Hazard. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, that night. Um, the next guy is our co-promoter with, uh, with Top Rank, Antonio Lynn Promotions. And like I was saying, it takes a team effort outside the ring to get these fighters to the place you want to bring them to. Uh, it's not about turning pro. It's not about being, you know, 17 wins on your record. It's about getting to a world championship without his help and... JP's and Andre Ward's, his co-managers, uh, we couldn't do it without you. My good friend, uh, let me bring him up and say a few words, uh, Antonio Leonard. Yeah, I get a little emotion when I talk about this young man here, but uh, I've been around a lot of great fighters, you know, and uh, you know, and I just named a couple of them as Floyd Mayweather, whole career, and Andre Ward. And this young man here, when I met him and got involved with him, probably in 2014, I seen something special in Shakur. And his work ethic, and uh, you know, I took the young man in, and I would have, I just never seen a work ethic like this kid, but uh, he got a great passion. And when I, he, uh, he speak very highly about his family, and that meant a lot to me. And he said, Tony, I got to take care of my mother, and uh, I, I got to take care of my brothers and sister, and I'm going to make my grandfather, Wally, proud. And he worked hard, and that meant a lot to me. And I told him, it's nothing I wouldn't do for this young man. I look at him like my son. And, uh, you know, I just, from that day, you know, he said he gonna go win that gold medal. And he didn't came, I thought he won it. And, uh, and when I seen the emotion from him after he didn't get the decision, that meant more than winning the gold medal. I said, you went platinum then. And he came back to work. This kid worked hard. It was 11 o'clock last night and we was running. I told him to run three miles, he ran six. And then we got on a flight this morning at six o'clock this morning to come here. And I can tell you, I done seen the great ones. He gonna be greater than great. And he gonna make new and proud. This is a good young man here. He got a lot on his shoulder. And he gonna deliver, and he gonna take care of his family, 
and a lot of more people. He's an inspiration to a lot of people. Ain't none of us perfect. Ain't no such thing as a perfect person or a perfect world. But I swear to God, his kid is want to be good. He want to be right. He listens. And I'm telling y'all, this one kid love boxing. He will be world champion. But like I said, there's a lot going to come with that. But the most important thing, he do it because he love it. And I can't express it. He just want to take care of his mom. Thank you. Thank you, Antonio. Um, what he refers to at Top Rank is we try and develop character, not characters. Yes. And Shakur has a lot of character in him, and it just comes out more and more, and we're so proud of him. Um, I first met Shakur about six years ago at the New Jersey Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, I didn't have hair back then. He still got his hair. <laughs> and I just, you know, thought to myself, you know, one day I hope, you know, just to get to know him and and work with him as a pro and uh, if you watch his social media he has a hashtag all time and it says chasing greatness and you know it's not about getting him to a world title because nowadays in boxing anybody can win a world title he wants to go to the hall of fame where hazard and i were yesterday up in Canastota, new york and when you see a fighter with those kind of goals you know you, you know it's something special and he's done everything up to this point to get to the hall of fame and I'm just happy, I, you know, I'm a local kid, I live five miles up the road on Route 21. They still haven't fixed 21 yet, I get a kick out of it. Maybe by the time you get to the Hall of Fame, they will. Um, but, it, you know, it's about him throughout his career and why we're here. And we go back and forth with that hashtag 973 when we're around the country at different fights, because people don't understand what 973 in Brick City is all about. And on July 13th, they're going to see it for real and see what it's all about. And then, you know, when are we fighting in Newark? When are we fighting in Newark? And he's fought in Atlantic City and he's fought in Madison Square Garden, but it's not Newark. And it's different for this kid because this is where he's from and this is what it's all about. So on July 13th, on behalf of Top Rank and ESPN, it's, it's a privilege and an honor to present live to the nation Newark, its favorite son, and a great boxer and a great kid, Shakur Stevenson. I just want to start off by uh, thanking God, because without God, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. So I want to start off by thanking God. And then I want to uh, thank my team. I want to thank Top Rick. I want to thank Andre Ward, Jay Prince, Josh Dubin, Antonio Leonard, uh, my grandfather, Coach K. Karoma. I want to thank everybody, because uh, they've been with me all this time, and uh, they stuck behind me, and they had faith in uh, my dreams. So I appreciate them. But July 13th, I'm, I'm just ready to put on the show. I'm ready to show everybody and know what I've been doing all these years to all these other fighters. So I'm about to keep doing what I've been doing. Uh, I don't even know dude's name, uh, Hammering or whatever. He got to yeah, he, he go. He got to go. So uh, the last Cuban I fought, he, he beat me. So now he got to get punished for the last Cuban. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, July 13th, I'm ready to show out, and thank you to Nook and everybody that's coming out to support. Uh, to, the Pretend the Pretentious Center is my home, and it's going to be a home for a long time, so let's get it. Thank you. His opponent is actually a, a gentleman out of Miami, Hiron Sakaris. He's originally from Cuba. He's 23-0 with 10 knockouts. He's a real good fighter. And no disrespect, I mean, he, he got to Miami on a boat. You know, he's got his issues. He got here, you know, he had his struggles and he knows that if he does what he has to do or wants to do on July 13th, you know, it's gonna set up a better life for him. But what people don't understand, what they lose sometimes in hometown fights, you know, we're gonna put Shakur here at the hotel but we're gonna put his room under a different name because I know what it's like with tickets and friends and you know, we wanna walk out with you. And at the garden, we had Jabril Peppers and Carl Anthony Towns, you know, when's that fight? You know, we're coming out with you and I, I've seen it a thousand times. Hiron Socrates doesn't care about that. He's just there to beat Shakur Stevenson. So our goal is to keep him as focused as possible because that's what's necessary. And 
we know Shakur will do that and come through in flying colors, and it's just the next step to where we want to be. So once again, thank you for coming out. We'll send out a list of what we'll be doing the week of uh, with activities with all the fighters on the card. We'll have a press conference on Thursday at the Prudential Center with every fighter you can meet him. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you on the 13th. We'll take some pictures and do some one-on-ones with Shakur. Thank you very much. <laughs>